This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, what is Smart Resend, and how does it work? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a little example model here loaded in. Now the question is asking about Smart Resend, or Smart Realign Symmetry. So if we go to the tool palette over here and go down to the deformation area, in here there's a button called Smart Resem. Now Smart Resem is kind of like a mirror and weld that works for subtools that contain subdivisions. If you click this button here, it will analyze all the points of the mesh and determine which parts are symmetrical, then realign them. So as an example of this, with this creature here, this one has some subdivisions on it, so it has four subdivisions. So I can go say up and down to this and you can see the subdivisions that the model contains. Now let's say I'm working on this model here and I switch to say the move brush and I start you know, pulling out this ear shape here. So maybe I wanna try a change on the mesh here where it has some like droopy ear type shapes going on. So as I'm performing this, you know, I spend quite a bit of time coming through and defining or changing the shape of this ear. And then I rotate around the model and I notice that I did not do the other side. So at this stage, I could come through and try to use that mirror and weld option here, but I'm gonna lose my subdivision surfaces. So I'm gonna lose all that sculptural detail that I put on the highest level of my model. Now I could try to mirror the object and then do some projections, but it's not gonna work that well either. So this is where the power of this smart resem comes into play. So I've gone through my model, I've not had symmetry on while I was sculpting, and now with Smart Resem, I can come through and make this other side of the model symmetrical. So bringing the symmetry back or realigning the symmetry on the mesh. So to do this, I just need to come across the area that I've changed, and I just want to apply a mask. So I'm going to hold down the Control key to get my mask pen, and then I'm just going to simply mask that ear that I changed a second ago. Just masking that out like so. Now after I have this masked out, I can now go to the tool palette and then go down to that deformation panel again and locate the Smart Resem button. Now when I click Smart Resem, it's going to analyze all the points on the model. So it's gonna look at every single vertice and then do it based on whatever axis I have selected over here. So I currently have the X axis turned on, so it's gonna look at the symmetry plane along the X line. So it's gonna analyze my mesh and determine which points should be symmetrical and then reposition them to bring back my symmetry. Now since I've masked this ear on this side out, I'm now telling ZBrush, hey, this part I don't want you to modify. So this is the part that I want you to look at and then repeat that symmetry on the other side of my mesh. So I've masked this ear out and protected it. So now when I run Smart Resim, it's going to just change the other side. And as you can see, it's made the change across that X symmetry and now that other ear looks exactly like this one. So now I can clear my mask and go back up my subdivision levels, and now I can activate my symmetry again and say select the clay buildup brush, and now I can sculpt using that symmetrical option across my mesh like normal. So to recap, the Smart Resem button, or the Smart Realign Symmetry, is going to look at the points on your mesh and then realign your model to make it symmetrical again. So if you have a mesh that is symmetrical, and say you use Projection Master and only affect one side of your model, or perhaps you have symmetry turned off and you make a drastic change, you can use Smart Resem to bring back the symmetry on a subdivision mesh. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!